Um, welcome to the University of Illinois Wildlife Medical Clinic. We work in conjunction with the Veterinary Teaching Hospital here at the College of Veterinary Medicine. We provide veterinary care for sick and injured wildlife, brought to us by the public and by licensed rehabilitators in the area. We were originally founded in 1978 by the combined effort of veterinary students, technicians, and veterinarians, and have since grown a huge amount in the 40 years we have been practicing. We currently have about 100 student volunteers, both veterinary students and undergraduate students. Um, this is important because very unique to this college, we are, our clinic is completely volunteer based, um, so those students provide care every single day to all of the patients we have in clinic. The mission of our clinic is threefold. First, we obviously provide veterinary care to sick and injured wildlife native to the Midwest. Two is to actually provide training to those veterinary students and undergraduate students. Um, and then three, to actually provide outreach and education to our local public so they know how to both bring in wildlife and interact with their wildlife and, and um, environments here in Illinois. So we're now excited to take you on a tour of our brand new clinic. We actually just moved in here about a month ago. Um, so this is actually our office space in here. This is where our students can work on medical records, can review blood work, x-rays or radiographs, um, do all sorts of things like that. Um, this is where we also keep our boards of the patients in hospital right now. It is very important to keep track of all of our patients in clinic right now because we do have a fair number, especially over the summertime. Um, this is a very important room here, especially during the school year, because all of those volunteers that I talked about previously, about a hundred volunteers, are broken up into multiple teams of students. They will then be assigned certain cases where they work on together as a team. Um, so that's where you see these boards here. We're going to make our way to our um, intensive care unit and treatment room along the way. I just like to highlight some of our current and past resident or education animals here. So along this wall you'll see a variety of pictures of different animals that we have used in our education and outreach program. These animals are all non-releasable for a variety of reasons. Some can no longer fly, some are not actually native species. You can actually meet some of these residents in our Meet Your Residents videos. Great. So this first room is our uh, intensive care unit as well as our pharmacy. So we have a large number of medications that we use in the clinic, pain medications, antibiotics, anti-inflammatory medications, basically anything you can use on small animals, dogs and cats, you can use in our patients here at the wildlife clinic. Like I said, this is also our intensive care unit. So it's where a lot of our animals who first come into the clinic that need to be triaged or that need a little extra care are housed here. So in some of these cages, we have incubators. So some of our very young animals, some of our very sick animals need a little bit of extra heat support and that's where we can place them in these. So to give you an example of someone being housed in our intensive care unit today, we currently have a fledgling Eastern Screech Owl that came in just about a day ago. This guy appears to be healthy. He's just very new to flying and so actually was found on the ground. He isn't actually injured and what we tell the public, a lot of the times with these baby birds, these fledgling baby birds, they just need a little bit of time to figure out how to fly. So we would like people to leave them where they are as long as they don't seem injured. This guy came to our clinic, we will be sending him to a licensed rehabilitator to either be re-nested or actually be rehabilitated until he can be released. So this is our second room. Uh, this is our treatment room as well as our laboratory. Um, so any animal that needs treatments, whether that be orphan feedings for our young babies, whether that's bandage changes, wound care, um, any sort of thing like that occurs in this room. Um, also, we have our laboratory equipment here. We can run blood work, we can do fecal analysis, we can do um, lead analysis, all sorts of things like that we can do in-house. Luckily, we are attached 
to the College of Veterinary Medicine. So if we have any samples that need to go out for further diagnostic testing, we can send out to there as well. Cool. Um, so we have four holding areas here in the clinic. Um, we have each separated by a door in a room. This first one here we designed with a window as this is our actual nursery. So we try to keep a lot of our orphaned, usually mammals and birds, in this room. Eventually when we are able to give tours through this clinic, we can have the public look in and see what's going on in this room. Currently we have a variety of critters in our care in the nursery, all the way from a baby robin to a baby barred owl, to numerous raccoons, and possums and cottontail rabbits. Uh, lastly, this is our run room. So we have two different runs here that we can either house larger animals or groups of animals. So this first run is actually set up for two geese that are actually having some enrichment time outdoors in one of our outdoor cages. They will be coming in in a couple hours. This last run over here actually houses multiple different reptile species. So we can actually put them all aside so we can make room for multiple critters. We can hold most anything in these runs. We've had a pelican in here. We've had eagles in these cages. We've had smaller animals that we have set up so they can fly around or run around. Um, these are great enclosures to offer us just a little bit more space for some of our creatures that do need a little bit more space. Thank you for coming on the tour with us today. The Wildlife Medical Clinic is a non-for-profit organization, which means the medical care provided to these patients comes from donations from the public. If you're interested in donating, please go to our website and go to the Give Now button.